Hi guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome to another episode of Kiri's Garage. Today the car is a 1992 Autozam AZ1. <laughs> This is a very tiny, very small Japanese sports car. It's from the series K, which stands for Keiji Dosha, very popular in Japan's small light cars, usually under 600cc or 0.6 liter engine. That's mean they use using for the K series cars a motorcycle engines. Another very famous car from the K series is a Suzuki Cappuccino, which is well known all over the world. If you're wondering what brand is Autosan, well, this is a cooperation between Mazda and Suzuki. It came in 1992, and the production ended in 1995. Just 4,392 cars were built, and today many car enthusiasts, specifically who are looking for K-series, Autozam is always on top of the list, simply because it's the most attractive, very sporty design, very beautiful, especially with the going doors. Yes, the doors are going, rear mid-engine with turbocharger and rear wheel drive. The best ever configuration. Mazda did the design and actually they built the car, and Suzuki supplied the engine and some part of the suspension. The engine, which is 3 cylinder inline 660cc, but with turbocharger, very tiny, very small turbo, something like 3 by 3 inches. On the end, the result is 64 horsepower. Doesn't seem a lot, but considering the weight under 750 kilograms, the car is very fast. Or maybe we have to say it feels very fast, because the maximum speed is 87 miles per hour or approximately 145 kilometers per hour, but it's restricted. And if you remove the restrictor, easily we will go over 100 miles per hour. By the way, many people did it. And believe me, if AZ1 steps on the track, I mean short track with lots of bends, not like Nürburgring, we will make the owners of big engine cars to think about. So the car is fun to drive, very sticky because it's very light and very responsive. K cars were created after the World War II. It was very hard time, no factories, even no enough steel to produce cars or any other machineries. Of course, no one had money and everything had to be cheap, small and economical. In Europe it was absolutely identical situation. Just the description of the small cars was different. No K cars like in Japan, but very similar cars. The most famous of which is the Fiat 500 or the British Mini, German's Messerschmitt Gogomobil, the French Citroën 2 CV Duchvo, etc. etc. So again, these cars were created in very hard times to get people on the road. But it seems the people never forgot about K cars. That's why we still have them today and the people start to appreciate them more and more. They meant to be cheap, but not the Autosan AZ1. When new, it was expensive, over 12,000 American dollars. But nowadays, 30 years later, it's very hard to find an example for this money. And if you find, you have additional expenses like shipping cost, import taxes, registration, so on the end it's going to be over 20,000 American dollars. Usually, Americans like more massive cars, SUVs, trucks, but it's very funny to have this tiny AZ1 which causes big attention and attractions in every car show. It's very strange to see Autosam AZ1 on the American big roads between big cars. Already many are imported to the USA, to the UK as well, Europe, so actually all over the world. The Americans been waiting for this car to be legally imported into the USA because of the US legislation. Some cars cannot be imported in USA, so they needed to wait 25 years forever and after that these cars can be legally imported. We know the story with Porsche 959 and many others. The man behind the Autosam AZ1 was the same one who was responsible for Mazda MX-5 Miata and as you can see he did amazing job. The prototype had the pop-up lights, but on the end the designers decided to change them with conventional round lights. The style was a bit European with the most visible going design doors. Massive Ferrari style spoiler on the back, two-part door windows, only the bottom you can open, 
side air intake in front of the rear wheels, again a bit Ferrari style, the tail lights may be a Corvette style or even McLaren F1 style. Interior wise, very cool inside thanks to the going door to get in and out is not that difficult. The bucket seats are very comfy and very low, so the headroom is great but the legroom is a bit problematic, especially for tall people. There is no luggage compartment. In the back is the engine, in the front are all components, so it's very busy everywhere. The only luggage space is behind the seats, but there originally is the spare tire. Anywhere there behind the seats is a little space so you can put something probably normal size back. In the engine compartment is very busy as well, especially with the turbo unit attached to the engine, but the engineers from Autozam took the decision to make the life of the owner a little bit easy. So they made an access opening panel on the wall between the cabin and the engine bay. Removing the panel you have access to the back side of the engine, which is very helpful. Believe me, this is very good option, Ferrari have on some models which is very good and you can change the cam belt or anything, but they don't have on other models which is very painful because the engine need to be removed for some even little jobs. But it is what it is, anyway Autozam AZ1 decided to make this access panel. Many of the development work had been done in UK, like engineering and crash testing. All the panels are made of plastic and they are screwed onto the body. So you can easily remove them or change them, something very similar to BMW Z1 and Pontiac Fiero. The chassis is still monocoque and is very rigid, even is over engineered. There is not assistant on the steering wheel, but probably doesn't need, because it's very light car, the engine is on the back and the tires are very tiny. We mentioned the tires anyway, they look big, but actually it's an illusion. They are just 13 inches, but because the car is very small, they look very big. So there is not options on the car, except one very important, the air condition. Anything else is far from this car, because simply we will add weight to this very beautiful Autozam AZ1. The original wheels are steel, but most of the owners decided to put some alloy nice designed wheels, which is beautiful, but my opinion is the steel are very cool and the originality is very important. The gearbox is 5 speed and is very smooth. We're gonna mention again the engine, 3 cylinder in line, 657cc to be precise, double overhead cam, 4 valves per cylinder, so in total 12, turbocharger and producing 64 horsepower, but the K cars were restricted to 64 horsepower, this was by the law. The same engine was used by Suzuki Auto as well and revving up to 6500 rpm, 85 Nm of torque, 720 kg curb weight, the wheelbase 2 meter 235 mm, actually it's not that bad because some of the old Porsches they have very similar wheelbase, but the car is long just 3.3 meters and is wide 1.4 meters and just 1 meter 150 millimeters high. Most of the cars originally were painted in blue or red color. All the cars are originally made in right hand drive, because they were only for the domestic market. Because it was very expensive for 1992, Mazda or the brand Autozam failed to sell 800 cars per month, which was the target. In total, as we mentioned, they sold 4,392 cars for some 3 years in production, which mean approximately 120 cars per month, so very far from 800 cars. And this just because it was very expensive. Early 1990s was a recession in Japan, this is another reason the car to be sold in that small number. Anyway, today the car is great addition to many car collections. The ones who love uh, Japanese cars and there are many around the world always looking for this particular car, but also there are collectors who collect in specifically tiny small Japanese cars, like Suzuki Cappuccino, Nissan Figaro, even very small purposely built trucks. So believe me, 4392 examples are not enough to make everyone happy. That's why the prices are going up. The other category collectors are those who struggling with enough space, lack of space let's say. They want to have more cars, but because the garage is not 
that big enough, so instead of 3-4 American cars, they decided to put inside some 9, let's say, K Japanese cars. Well, a friend of mine told me that, probably it's a joke, but in reality it's true. It's better to have 9 than 3-4 cars. The other good thing is it's easy to maintain cars like this. Very small mass-produced engine doesn't require a deep pocket and long waiting time for parts. Also doesn't require a muscle to remove the engine. Everything is so light and easy. It's very cool small micro sports car. Even we can see something similar with McLaren F1. Not only the tail lights, but all the design, everything, including the steering wheel. But it's not that expensive. For those who can't afford 20 million American dollars McLaren F1, there it is, the $20,000 Autozam AZ1. And also this car will put smile on your face. You can enjoy even more than McLaren F1. In UK as well is very popular and many cars being imported here. Considering that all AZ1 are right hand drive, this is the perfect car for the UK. Also the infrastructure in England is very old and everything is narrow, so the Autozam AZ1 is the perfect classic car for the UK roads. So guys, I hope you liked the video about this K Japanese car Autozam AZ1. If you like, please subscribe my channel and see you next time guys, bye!